Hi, welcome to Star Tech Academy, where you will learn something new every day. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to use Gemini AI. So a few days ago, Google launched its most powerful AI, Gemini. So Gemini is Google's largest AI and it can process text, images, videos, audios and codes. It claims to surpass the top AI chatbots like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot Bing Chat. So in this video, we will see that how we can use this AI. First, let's see a quick demo of what Gemini can do. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. So there are many examples like this in the Google's demonstration video. You can find the link in the description to watch the full video. Now we will go to deepmind.google and here we will click on explore more. So here if you go down, then you can see that Google has built three different versions of Gemini AI with three different sets of skills. These are Nano, Pro and Ultra. So the largest version is Ultra version, which is designed to solve complex tasks. It will run on the cloud services and you will get the API in the same way as with the ChatGPT. Pro version will be used in the Bard chatbot and in the coming months, it will get more updates. And the Nano version of Gemini is the smallest version that run locally on the devices such as Google's Pixel 8 mobile series. Now to use Gemini with Bard, you need to scroll down and click here or you can directly go to bard.google.com. So with Google Bard, you can use the pro version of Gemini AI. And for this, you need a Gmail account and you need to sign up using that personal Gmail account. Here we will write what is Gemini AI. So here you can see the explanation, Google's blog, DeepMind website, etc. Now I will attach an image and see that can Gemini understand what's in the photo. So I'll click on upload image. I will write what's in the image. So this is basically an image of our website's homepage. So here you can see that it clearly understands that what's in the image. The image you sent is a screenshot of the website for the Start Tech Academy. The website is about developing in-demand skills and learning to drive better business decisions by leveraging the power of data. The image contains the following text. And now here I can write more prompts related to this website or this image. So currently we can upload images here, but in the future, the Gemini Ultra can understand different types of informations, including texts, images, audio, videos, and codes. Google says that Gemini Ultra can also understand and explains and generates codes in the programming language. Let's see if our multimodal model Gemini can turn images into code. I'll start with this image of a tree. Let's see if Gemini can make an interactive demo in JavaScript. OK, here we go. A common algorithm for this is called a fractal tree. OK, this is pretty cool. Gemini even provided a slider so I can change and move the fractals. It even provided me with the actual code. Nice. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So that's all in this video. See you in the next one. Thanks.